This is my Christmas message for you. The title of it is, The Christmas We Did Not Want. Tonight, as we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I can't help but think how this is not how we expected to be celebrating Christmas 2020 earlier this year. A year ago, we could not even consider that this year we would not have Christmas parties, Christmas concerts, or even large family Christmas gatherings. The first Christmas for Mary and Joseph was not what they imagined the birth of their new son would be either. I am quite certain that giving birth in a stable was not where Mary wanted to have her first son, child. She probably imagined herself surrounded by her mother and the other women and family members, including her cousin Elizabeth. She probably imagined lots of rejoicing from her husband and uncles and father, all of all of her family together celebrating the birth of her baby boy. Instead, Mary and Joseph found themselves in a stable surrounded by animals with the only place to lay their newborn baby boy being a feed bunk. See, Mary and Joseph made the best of a bad situation. If we fast forward over 1900 years later to the muddy battlefields of Belgium and France, in World War I, the soldiers of the British, French, German, and Belgian armies, along with civilians whose homes had once stood, re were replaced by muddy, swollen, water-filled trenches. They could have never even imagined that this would be the Christmas of 1914, that they would find themselves homeless or standing knee-deep in mud. Everything seemed bleak and hopeless. That was until German soldiers in places such as Neuve-Chapelle, Messines, among other places, began singing Christmas carols and putting candles on the parapets and decorating their bunkers in, with pine tree branches. This led, some believe, to figures close to 100,000 Germans, French, British soldiers, Belgian soldiers, all along the front, singing carols and coming together for Christmas. See, in the midst of hopelessness and gloom, they made the best of it. And that is the crossroads we face this Christmas season. We can let this pandemic keep us down, or we can adapt and make the best of it. Our leadership decided for the latter. We have adapted and made the best of it. While it is not what we remember or wanted, it is our reality. And this evening, like those soldiers in 1914, we sing carols to bring hope to the hopeless. We sing carols so people remember that they are still a people of joy. That we are a people who will not submit to the darkness, but will adapt to continue to be a light in our community. I was so looking forward to being in person and part of your Christmas evening celebrations. But that was not meant to be. However, in spite of not being able to be present, my heart goes out to you and my family, Pastor Luann, Caitlin, Sarah, and Lydia, all wish you a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. Amen.